Beautiful. I'm Donald Link. Today I'll be making pizzas at Della Fattoria Bakery. I'm writing the recipes right now, inspired by the fresh ingredients. Kathleen Weber, one of the owners of Della Fattoria, gave me a tour of this wonderful family business. How did you decide to start doing this? Honestly, what happened is that a chef asked me to make bread for a special event, and then he loved it, and he called me about a month later and asked if we would just bake for him. So it was never very intentional. In addition to the bakery, an amazing array of fresh produce is grown on their farm, including the main ingredient we need for the pizzas, tomatoes. This is going to be for our uh, crushed tomato sauce for the pizza, so I'm going to look for the softest ones, the ones that maybe won't necessarily make the prettiest salad means they're gonna be ripe and sweet. These are the kind of tomatoes you wanna slice up, put some mayonnaise on white bread and some salt and eat them just like that. I mean, my granddad used to make them. This is a very rustic preparation of a sauce. I'm gonna take oregano and crush it through my hand. Touch of red wine vinegar and some really good olive oil and a little sea salt. Is there a bigger one that I can use? <laughs> it's really a four inch pepper grinder. It just looks bigger on camera. That's good vinegar, good oil, good tomatoes, and good salt. Get that flavor. When it cooks, you're going to have that on the pizza. Today we're going to be cooking in this incredible homemade wood-burning oven made by Kathleen's son-in-law, Yonker. The wood-fired smoke imparts a great rustic flavor to the sauce. I'm letting the tomatoes simmer on the top part of the grill so the flavors can reduce. So now we're starting to see our sauce kind of break. It's still a little wet. See that? What I want to do is just cook this until that starts to evaporate and condense. Man. Let's just turn this into soup right now and you got something. So the pizzas that we're going to put together, we're going to do the salami olive, kind of the more Mediterranean style. And then here we have some uh, local aged goat cheese and we're going to use some of our andouilles. We grilled the sausage off and chopped it small so it would be dispersed on the pizza better. And some of these wonderful pickled Criolla cello peppers. So this is going to be the Louisiana style. When I first started cooking, yes, I did cut my finger a few times. But, uh, well, I'm not going to jinx myself. Yeah. <laughs> I never cut myself anymore, right. though. Now it's time to toss some pizzas. It's been a while for me, so Kathleen's son Aaron is going to show me the way. He's an expert at pulling the dough just thin enough to make the pizzas nice and crispy. Oh man, I could do this for a living. Yes, you could. Wait, wait, I am. <laughs> We're doing the uh, salami pizzas here with a crescenza and some mozzarella. This is fennel salami, two cheeses, or crushed tomato sauce, and some chopped olives. We're going to put a little olive oil around the outside. Just kind of gives a little crust to the outside and a little flavor. And now, the Louisiana style. This is the uh, andouille. These are the Criolla cellas, the pickled ones. Man, that's fast. Our dinner ends one of my best days in California. The Weber's truly have an amazing place here, and they are truly amazing people. Join me next time as we watch the amazing bread-making process at Della Fattoria. <laughs>